feel like somebody's watching you? Well, buckle up, Rockwell, because somebody totally is. From space, definitely. And by the spiders. Oh, how the spiders love to watch. Right now, there are hundreds of satellites directing their creepy magic eyes and space nostrils towards the Earth, watching every move you make. Well, not your every move. Probably not any of your moves. At least, not enough to warrant bringing in Thriller Pepsi hair on fire Michael Jackson for backing vocals. There's a flock of Earth observation satellites orbiting the Earth right now. NASA alone has more than a dozen satellites in its imaginably titled Earth Observing System program. Some image the land while others measure the atmosphere, oceans, ice, even the planet's gravity and magnetosphere. There's also the Landsat satellites. The first launched in 1972 to begin photographing Earth for science. Many of the most famous images of Earth were taken by this program, and the missions are still going. Landsat 8 launched in 2013, and preliminary plans are being made for Landsat 9. 8 images the entire planet every 16 days. Now, they can't see what you put in your coffee with a 15 meter resolution. NASA isn't watching you right now, but they are pouring over photos from the last 16 days. Really, they're dwelling on a you from the past. Now, they keep meaning to send you flowers and tell you that you're really pretty, but first, they've got to get up the courage to dig through your garbage and spend a whole day waiting in their car outside your favorite restaurant. Want to see exactly what they're tracking and what secrets they've uncovered? Well, go to this URL here and you can browse the image archives in almost real time from the Landsat satellites. You can see all kinds of government and personal secrets like the seasons change from spring to summer or possibly a time that lake froze over. Now, you're probably wondering about the higher resolution images, like the ones you've been looking at on Google Maps. Now, most likely, you've been duped. The crazy high resolution images you see of cities are actually just photographs taken from airplanes flying a few hundred meters up. If you can see an airplane or black helicopters flying over around you suspiciously, well, then you might be under surveillance. Otherwise, you're probably safe. Who am I kidding? We've all watched John Oliver. The least of our concerns is cameras. Nobody should be even thinking about a tiny little robot that attaches itself to your nose hairs. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, right. How about images from space? The best commercially available satellite images have a resolution of 41 centimeters. That's about this big. But your tinfoil hat, seen from above, only takes up a single pixel. So rest comfortably, as this isn't a technological problem. It's actually a legal issue. That's the highest resolution satellites were allowed to provide. That's right, I said were. A revision to the law allows the next generation of satellites, such as the recently launched Worldview 3, to get down to 31 centimeters. As small as 25 will be permitted. So as the press officer of Digital Globe noted, they'll be able to tell if your vehicle is a car, a truck, or an SUV. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but will they call me? when I can't remember where I parked? Of course, we have no idea what resolution the most powerful satellites are because they're super double secret, unimaginably classified. We don't know how many there are and what they're capable of, but they're launched aboard some of the most powerful rockets available in the US, like the Atlas IV. So what do they look like? Well, let's go with the Hubble Space Telescope pointing down. What kind of resolution do they have? Nobody knows. You can Google Hubble pointed at Earth and read up on all the messy complications with resolution and speed. The rumor mill seems to think that it's around 15 centimeters, significantly better than the commercially available options. Not enough to count the sugar spoon fills, but it could target you in your tinfoil hat with ordnance. So are you being watched from space? Probably. There are several satellites overhead right now and other satellites capturing low resolution images of your region every few days. The most powerful satellites are classified military reconnaissance spacecraft, and we have no idea what they're capable of. Holy Snowden, that does sound creepy in the realm of stop reading Snapchats over my shoulder. So what configuration of tinfoil hat do you like best to protect your thoughts from the orbital mind control lasers? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. 
Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. And we'd like to thank Marie Holt, Cam Culher, Hugh Keel, and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and extra shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. Or possibly a time that lake froze. Mm. Ah. The wind. <laughs>